Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at SPY here on the daily and weekly. Hope you had a good week. So we had new all-time highs today. Increase in volume is not really showing up here. Let's see. We had 73 million going right now. Last Yesterday was 65. So an increase in bullish volume. New all-time highs. A break of this low 217 resistance we've been seeing. And trying to fend off this bearish MACD cross. So I don't, what I want to talk about now is a bit of the relation between oil and the markets. We know there's a relation between the two. And what is becoming more and more apparent over these bounces and dumps is that whatever logarithms are in place, they don't really care about oil going down. And when oil goes up, it's the next great thing, and the bulls really rally off of that. So oil has been in an absolute downtrend the past seven days, and let's show that. And I have oil up all the time. I'm watching the five-minute chart on oil compared to SPY. So look at these five days of straight, or the six days of straight downside pullback, and then we look at SPY, and we see that the reaction is pretty much trading sideways, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then the first day that oil goes bullish, we saw oil form a bullish reversal candlestick today. We saw that correlation directly linked between SPY and oil. If you put the five-minute charts next to each other, as soon as oil broke out and started going up, that's when SPY had the fuel needed to hit new all-time highs. So that is a very strong correlation if you are trading pretty much anything because SPY directly, directly relates to individual tickers and SPY directly, directly relates to oil. So you need to be watching oil, SPY, and your individual ticker if you want to have all the information needed to be making the best decisions. And we can see the nice strong reaction, the weekly time frame, maintaining that upper Bollinger Band, bulls buying the dip. 217.08 is that level. And I've been saying in my videos all week, it's pretty much going to require the bulls to hit new all-time highs, or we're going to see a bearish reversal candlestick. But this is still a bearish reversal hanging man at the top of an uptrend and a red week next week would confirm it. But the bulls are in full control with that new all-time high on the daily time frame. And we'll see if this 10-day moving average keeps holding as support and taking the price higher and higher with it. So key level, 215.75, still there. Three of the past six days, that has been the low of the day. So that is a, a very important support if we do, I won't say if, when we do pull back and test that level again. So bulls in control heading into next week. We are anticipating oil to continue to bounce from this bullish reversal candlestick. We're anticipating it to be a short-term bounce, but that could still be another day or two, and that could take markets to higher highs on Monday and Tuesday. So we'll keep watching that relationship very closely. I appreciate you watching and hope you have a fantastic weekend.